we're going to cover what add-ons you should be using in Arena for World of Warcraft in Dragonflight Season 1. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed and enjoy. Add-ons in Arena are so essential to play. I can't imagine playing without them, and they are very helpful, and they definitely will improve your gameplay and your level of awareness. I don't run with too many at all. Let's just start off with the ones that I do run. We're going to go through. I'm going to name them all off, and then I'm going to show you what they look like in a game and in an Arena match and how they are useful. I don't use a whole lot. I don't think that you need that many add-ons anyways at the end of the day, but I use Ability Team Tracker to track my, my teammates' cooldowns. I have details so I can get a breakdown of seeing if we landed any CCs, how many CCs we landed, right? The damage that was thrown onto the person who died. I want to make sure that I'm going through and tracking all this, the damage that's dealt, the healing. This just gives me everything. I use Gladius. Everybody is pretty familiar with Gladius. If you're not familiar, familiar with Gladius, it'll show DRs. On your enemies and whatnot when their trinkets are up their hp i use nameplate cooldowns which is going to show cooldowns above enemies heads when they're running around to be able to track cooldowns on them i use omnibar for kicks this is this will show kicks when they, when they are up right here where it says omnibar to the bottom right and i use omni cc it's i feel like omni cc has been having some issues for me in terms of showing cc on top of people and whatnot like that but it's I still rock it. I, I maybe I'll disable it at some point, but it, it does work for it right now. Now let's go through and let's show let's show you guys what it looks like in an actual arena game. This is what it looks like as your UI. To the right, you have Gladius, which is set up, which is showing the enemy that we're facing, which is Fury Warrior, Windwalker Monk, and Holy Paladin. We got details to the bottom right displaying the damage dealt from the team from the previous game before. And if you're looking here next to our frames on the left side. Next to our teammates, we have the Arcane Power, the Block, the Ring, Evasion, Cloak. That right there is Ability Team Tracker. I want to make sure that I know what my teammates have. If you're not in comms with your teammate as well, this is very important because you're able to track to see what's going on. Do they have this? Am I allowed to sit in this, in this poly? Should I shrink this? Or do I need to use my abilities? You have this right there in front of you. And that way you're easy, you're able to track it. Otherwise, you're like, oh man, did he block? Sometimes people block and so you don't even know. Sometimes people just they don't give a fuck, right? When they're queuing, when you're in LFG, going through the dirt and the grind. And it just happens, man. Shit happens here. Now let's speed up this game. Next one that I want to show is uh, is the um nameplate cooldowns. Nameplate cooldowns will appear on top. We're gonna see them pop up pretty quick right here. That uh that sap right there, that's the uh the Omni CC. That you can see right there to the top on top of the, the monk right there or the paladin for the sap. And here comes ability team tracker that which is gonna be showing. Or not ability team tracker, sorry, I mean the um nameplate cooldowns. The warrior charge right there, right? You can see charge, storm bolt above them. That's recklessness too, it looks like. We can track those right there. You can also see it on Gladius to the bottom right. You're able to see it there. But ability team uh, the sorry, I keep calling it ability team tracker. Nameplate cooldowns is a little bit off just so you are aware so when you are using this and you are tracking cooldowns above them above these above these enemies right here just know that it's going to be sometimes it's off about a second or two depending upon the cool depending upon the cooldown some of them for some classes they just don't some people they just it just doesn't work for some classes right before i remember it was because there was some cdr and they were able to recover some of these cooldowns faster i'm not i'm not too sure going into dragonflight but just be aware that it could be off by a second or two. So just be prepared when you do see that coming. Right. But having this is really big as we're able to. We're going to speed this up right here. Running through. We're going to go through. We're also going to be looking for the Omnibar. Right. For these kicks. If you look to the portrait right here. Right there. Down below. Right where we have the monk. Tar uh, right, right there where we have our rogue targeted. You can see that kick coming with a 15 second cooldown to the bottom right. That is the monk kick right there. We're tracking that kick. I want to know when the kick's are are off cooldown so i can then start free casting if there's nothing shown on your omnibar that means that nobody has used any kicks yet that means you can get kicked if you are free casting you better watch it when you start casting away i make sure that i use this to juke to juke all these kicks i see that the monk doesn't have a kick so even if the monk's on me he now can't kick me right it doesn't matter at all we don't have to we don't have to stress on that it's just something to to be aware of all of these all of these add-ons have just have really helped me out a ton you can see here we were able to track Karma, Trinket on the top as well from Nameplate Cooldowns, his Zuin or Zuen, whatever you want to call it, Para, all of that right there. And if you look on the Gladius here, you can see that there's DRs. 
they have drs that are timed it's the portraits that are on top of the enemies you can see that right there there's a dr and they'll go from i believe it is green to yellow to red and once it's red it's it's capped out that's done make sure that you do snag these add-ons these add-ons are really important and i don't think i don't think i would have been able to climb really without having these. this having these add-ons has taught me a lot right it's definitely taught me a bunch. Now, like, we probably could. We could, we could most definitely probably climb even without the add-ons now. But especially when I was stepping in and learning Arena and learning all these other abilities and learning what everybody's doing, having these to track everything has helped me a ton. And it still helps me to this day. I'm, I'm, we're, we're, not, we're not here bullshitting about being able to... We, we definitely love we love having these add-ons. And I, I will always use these add-ons for as long as I can until they implement in the game, which they need to fucking do already, right? But this is, this is very big. So make sure that you are rocking this. You can see it, it is very helpful to go and track and everything. It is just, I would I would highly recommend downloading these. You don't need to go anything, you don't need to do anything crazy or go and download like 10, 20 add-ons. You don't need that. You just need the basics, right? I wanna track my, my teammates, my party members' cooldowns. I wanna know what the hell's going on in the game. I wanna be able to track my, my enemies, DRs, and what they're doing, right? Whether they have trinkets and whatnot. I wanna track the rest of their cooldowns besides that. And I want to be able to track their kicks. That's what I want to be able to do. I want to make sure that I have those. Those are really the main ones to have. That way you have all eyes in the arena. You're looking at everybody and everybody and everything in the game. I would definitely make sure to snag these items. I'll have a link for all of them right down below. If you don't have them, you can go and just download them. There will be a link right down below. Just make sure to go and click that and, and throw that in. That's it for this video. I hope that you guys did enjoy. This was just a quick little video just for add-ons and whatnot like that. I've had some people coming over to the stream, which that link is right down below. That's twitch.tv slash baker underscore ice. And I've had people asking me questions in regards to what add-ons I've been using. So I just wanted to go ahead and just post a video on YouTube. And sometimes I see these people, they have way too many add-ons. And they're like, it's just kind of, it's too cluttered. And not only that though, but it's a little bit confusing. I feel like, at least for me, when I was seeing other people use all these different add-ons, I was like, oh, it's just... It makes me feel flustered. I'd rather just make things pretty basic and pretty simple. And with these add-ons that are going to be linked down below, it's pretty basic for you. And you'll be able to pick them up pretty quick. It's nothing too crazy. And it doesn't take over your whole entire screen. But if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. And until the next one, guys. Peace.